Welcome to the podcast of Terrace Consulting. Hello and welcome to a new episode of the podcast. Uh, today I have a very different profile that well, uh, I've used to have in the in the show. I try to have every different week somebody bringing in a different, different approach to the profession, to the sector. And today I have the pleasure to have Christian Osorio. Good morning. How are you, Christian? Hi, Pablo. How are you? Uh, thank you for the invite. I'm, uh, I'm very glad to be part of your podcast. Thank you. Yeah, of my experience in the hotel industry. Thank you very much, Christian. It's specialized in operational excellence, which uh, I've never found met anyone uh, who works in this specialty. So that's why I wanted to her to be on the show to talk about what that means, how hotels can improve their operations and reach that excellence through customer services or operations in general. She's going to go into detail now on what that means and how that works. But as always, I want to start with from the beginning. So uh, Kristen is Mexican, but she's worked in Spain, Mexico, I'm reading, yeah? Canada, Costa Rica, the US, Bahrain, Emirates, and now she is in Austria, in Europe. So an amazing experience all over the world. Uh, can you go briefly through those steps and how what took you to, to that role as a operational excellence manager? Yeah. So uh, basically, I studied my, I, I'm a hotelier by passion. I started studying my bachelor in hotel restaurant management mm -hmm. back in, in Mexico. And then um, yes, I did my internship in, in Cancun, and then I went to Canada for a work and travel program. Then when I went back to Mexico, I wanted to, to I didn't know exactly in which, in which area of the hotel I should uh, specialize, mm -hmm. but I this opportunity to be the executive administrative assistant for the GM. So I found it a good opportunity because I thought, okay, being a, a beside the GM, I can I can see how hotel operation works from a, from a broader perspective. Mm -hmm. And uh, so after six months, I got promoted. I got promoted to the quality manager. So it's, it, it was at this point when I had my first experience in what is quality. Um, um, that was um, uh, a hotel that had a, a, a quality strategy from the corporate. So we implemented some very good uh, programs like a 5S or quality leaders. So it was a really a good experience. I had my first executive level position there. I was the youngest in the team with the old men. <laughs> so it was uh, it, 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 it was, was challenging. It was challenging, yes. It, uh, it gave me a lot of um, learning about how to, how, how to see a different perspective from the upper perspective of the management and, and deal as well with the, with the, with the executive team and, and be in contact with most of the operational department. Uh, then, I, then I wanted to continue study and I pursue my MBA. So I went to Switzerland to study in La Roche. Um, this uh, I was uh, very, very, very blessed actually to have this uh, Six Sigma course, uh, what was related with with quality, uh, mm -hmm. and we did a project. I was uh, black belt, leading a, oh. leading a, a part of the group. Mm -hmm. So um, after that project, I thought this is amazing. I really like uh, this methodology. Why the hotels are not using it? Why, why is not so well known? Mm -hmm. So I decided to do my dissertation about Six Sigma and, and hotel industry. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, after graduating, I got an opportunity, which actually fit more or less on, 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 on the same sector in, in a hotel, in a luxury hotel in Miami. And um, this, was, uh, this was a very good learning. Uh, it was uh, in the 2009, 2010, just right, right after the, the crisis. The crisis. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, in US, so the company uh, decided to to implement this position operation analysis to mm -hmm. actually uh, uh, streamline the process and be more productive, uh, mm -hmm. and um, while not compromising the guest satisfaction. So we were we were working along with an external company, consulting company, mm -hmm. and basically what the, the the methodology was using the lean. So what Lynn tells you is that you, you look at the process mm -hmm. and, uh, and remove, remove waste or not value added from the customers in order to be more productive. So this was a, an amazing um, approach because, um, because we were able to, to run a more productive way mm -hmm. and, and really change the culture of the whole hotel. So um, uh, the, the, the experience was, uh, 
was so wonderful. And, uh, and then is where I actually thought at that time, I would like to be a consultant <laughs> one day. <laughs> Uh, because I, I, I see the, the impact of... Uh, mm, how can you add value? Mm -hmm. Yes. So after that, um, I, I was curious to try Middle East and I, I was there about Dubai. And so uh, uh, we went first to Bahrain. Um, I, I married and then I went with my husband to Bahrain. And then I found an opportunity uh, to, uh, for a process improvement for um, uh, outside hospitality. It was my first time outside hospitality. Uh -huh. So I did some uh, process improvement projects uh, to, for adaptive recovery. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, okay, it's, it's nice. I'm still in the, in the area of process improvement, but I miss the hotels. <laughs> it's a totally different environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to go to Dubai. That was actually my first call. Uh -huh. when to the Middle East. Okay. And I got this uh, opportunity as well in, a, in Anantara, mm -hmm. uh, Anantara, Dubai, which is uh, part of the minor hotel. And it, it was one of the flagship hotels because it was the biggest one. Mm -hmm. So in the corporate level, there is a function on operational excellence and they wanted to, to pilot this area in a hotel. So this hotel uh, was uh, around one year and a half uh, already with this function implemented. So when, when I came, uh, it was uh, um, the, the project was to uh, put the basis of the quality management in the hotel. So it was as, as well, we, we implement quality leaders uh, in a, a program. And then this, this program became available to all minor hotels. I was working very close to corporate to, to, bring, uh, to bring all the strategy to all hotels. So as well, it was a, was, a, was a very, very nice experience. Um, and then I stayed there for um, almost four years, I guess, three years, something. <laughs> Not three years. <laughs> and then I moved to, to, um, to a higher scope of role, which was a complex director of brand and talent, uh, working for Marriott. So I was in charge of, the, of, uh, of two hotels and in charge of training and brand. Uh, was training for more than 2,000 employees and they brought wow. uh -huh. it was a, a huge, uh, huge operation. And then what was more, more interesting and more exciting was to, I was there when it was the fusion of the Starwood and Mario. Oh, okay, the merger, yeah. Mm -hmm. the time. Yeah, so I, I served as a co as the coach deployment uh, for the deployment of the, of the, of the merging. So I had to coordinate with all the departments um, uh, with the activities uh, and the progress and basically project management and and yes it was um, it was as well um, a very very intensive uh, intensive uh, job mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime where I was in Dubai um, I, I serve as assessor of the EFQM um, so the the in Dubai the government had a, a the quality department mm -hmm. actually once once the company they, uh, apply for this certification and to to have a, an award so any company can join mm -hmm. as long as they have already some quality management uh, oh, okay so certain standards implemented yeah mm -hmm. yes and then they can they can uh, apply for the for the award so the kind of company you see is that they are very mature on, on what is the, on this on this area, mm -hmm. uh, I see some hotels, uh, but not many. Actually, the, the one of the leading hotels on getting the, the awards was Jumeira, which as well uh, had a business. They didn't call quality manager quality manager, but they had mm -hmm. the business excellence uh, mm -hmm. department, mm -hmm. uh, mostly in each hotel. Mm -hmm. So. They actually grow from um, the, the maturity of, of these companies. Good because they grow from to have it as uh, a quality a quality manager or a function. They actually call them business excellence. This is what actually it goes to the, the core business of the hotel. It's not only looking at the at the guest the scores or at the, the guest satisfaction itself. It's looking at the whole at the whole uh, company a whole structure, and it's part of the business strategy. 
So, um, so yeah, so working for this, um, for this uh, organization in Dubai, I, I, had, uh, I had the pleasure actually to, as is one of the best companies, it was not a hotel, but in, a, in an other uh, sector, mm -hmm. uh, they actually won the World Award, which is the highest award. Oh, wow. Okay. It, was, uh -huh. it was a challenge actually uh, the, uh, assessing them because they had too much in place that that it, it was just uh, just amazing how how they 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 have all the structure and it is it's part of their DNA already so part mm -hmm. of, of the success um, yes so and um, then uh, for a family reason uh, and we decided to to move to Europe. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, I'm, I'm doing what I thought many years ago <laughs> to, to become a work, consultant. To become a consultant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in your experience, I mean, all those years going from hotel to hotel, different companies as well, as you mentioned, outside of the industry, and you've gone from operational uh, excellence uh, to um, business excellence, talent as well. So, can you define excellence in hospitality? What does mean? What does that mean in a few words? What do the hotels need to improve or achieve in order to reach that excellence level? Yes, I think uh, it's excellence is a mindset, mindset of continuous improvement. Okay. Um, I, I I was very I'm being very lucky to work for a luxury companies. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, the 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 mindset it's it's uh, it's it's there. And the, the 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 curiosity of of, of finding a, of finding a, a ways to to improve and to to satisfy your clients it's a, it's, it's it's already it, you can see it more in a luxury segment than in a, in a three or four star mm -hmm. hotel. Um, um, yes, and I would say in, in one word, it's it's a mindset and it's it's mindset. not only mm -hmm. not only in a corporate level, it's in a personal level and. And to try to align, I guess, that mindset from the from the team, from the talent, and the corporate mindset, so they are aligned on the yes. way they want to provide that service. Think, right? Yes, and it should be a, a culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, mindset and a culture. All right, interesting. So uh, you work for brands such as Marriott, Mandarin Oriental, Barcelona, Occidental Hotels, and Antara, as you mentioned. And now, I mean, that dream that you had, you are reached it uh, being a consultant. Um, who needs that more, those kind of services that you, that you provide? Um, it's, is it a well-known business to approach from the sales perspective? I'm thinking, is how do you sell to hotels operational excellency consultancy services? I'm not sure if the hotels really are aware of that that even exists. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Uh, yeah, for, for your first question, who needs it or what type mm -hmm. of clients? Everyone, everyone, because this is a methodology mm -hmm. that uh, that helps you to to improve your cost, uh, improve your cost, your employee satisfaction, improve your quality. So mm -hmm. it touches every point of your of your business. So everyone needs it. Uh, in terms of uh, who actually are willing to go into this kind of project, maybe the the bigger hotel, the bigger hotel or companies or operations, they may have more resources to 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 invest because. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's an, it's an invest, so uh, they, they, they may have the resources to do that, uh, while a, a small company, maybe a family company, right? It's a, um, it's a little bit more challenging. In terms of uh, uh, the, the topic, the, uh, the understanding of what is operational excellence, it's, it's quite hard in, in, in the industry itself. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not as easy as uh, manufacturing, for example, that they have been using Lean Six Sigma for long mm -hmm. and actually yeah, for decades. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then uh, operational excellence is a little bit more, the, the, the word itself is a little bit less technical, so it, mm -hmm. it's easier to, to go through, through this approach of operational excellence. But um, uh, with the right with the right approach and uh, I said our our approach for hotels and for the hotel industry just to mm -hmm. keep it simple. Okay. It, it's a methodology that helps mm -hmm. you to, to reduce your cost, achieve your your business goals, uh, your employee satisfaction, uh, streamline your process. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Keep it simple. Right. I think it's probably for a factory. They've been doing it for many decades. 
uh, for them might be easier to measure, you know, put that piece, remove that process. And it, when it comes to dealing with customers, I, I guess it's yes. the, the it's human a factor. More complicated. However, mm -hmm. I think it's, as, uh, it's related with the maturity of the industry in uh -huh. finance, because finance is as well as service, uh, service industry and mm -hmm. healthcare, for example, they, they use this, uh, this kind of approach more often or the, the people are more aware of, of what is operation excellence six sigma than in the hotel industry <laughs> which is probably less less known yeah mm -hmm. yeah one of the leading hotels uh, it was a star wood when it was they had it implemented yeah mm -hmm. they have that very very strong and robust program actually uh, in the star wood if you if you want to grow as a gm or you want to be a gm uh, to be a black belt or to have certified mm -hmm. six sigma was a must so wow. mm -hmm. um, with the Marriott, um, uh, it changed a little bit. They still have it, um, but they are... Mm -hmm. It probably uh, got diluted, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, generally speaking, I mean, uh, you, you mentioned that luxury companies are more corporate environments. They have it more in their mindset already, and probably smaller companies or family businesses don't. But if, I don't know if, if you can answer that question, generally speaking, what are hotels usually doing right, and why are they, most of them, missing in terms of achieving excellence is there a common scenario common mistakes yes what the hotel hotel doing right is to have a very strong customer centric mm -hmm. which is a important factor for the, the most important for for lean six sigma is uh -huh. to have a customer centric approach which is mm -hmm. very good cool. in a hotel you uh, do measure your uh, you have a lot of ways and met and tools to measure customer satisfaction which is good. Uh, the hotel industry is very, is very cha uh, chain, changing over uh, rapid um, growth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, they adapt very easily to change, which as well is very good. And um, what is missing uh, is a little bit more of a um, of, uh, of, so of, of, uh, process, uh, uh, process thinking, analytical mm -hmm. thinking. Um, the, in the hotel industry, we have um, a background which is most hands-on. Uh, they uh, solving problems based on experience, mm -hmm. with, uh, because uh, it's very common that people grow from from the top to the, mm -hmm. to the bottom, from mm -hmm. the sorry, from the bottom mm -hmm. to the top. Keep growing. And, uh, mm -hmm. Based on experience, but this analytical part, this strategic part, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes it's it's, it's lacking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and, be... and, and and of course, you if you have uh, if you have a problem solving or you're working on a problem solving project, mm -hmm. uh, so that yes, they do. They have a, a, a kind of a assessment and and then they do it fast. It works, but then the sustainability is what is what is um, what is lacking. What sometimes is 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 is, is missing. And then you uh, this this. Um, uh, methodologies it helps you to really close the the, the cycle, uh -huh, like, cycle. Uh, mm -hmm. so okay. really go from the from the start to to the end and then make sure you control your your process mm -hmm. and you and then you make sure you don't go back to the to the same so the previous mistakes the previous mistakes so uh -huh. it's more about firefighting <laughs> It's not that firefighting, uh, and uh, yes, I would say that. that mm -hmm. And it's a never-ending process at the end. So I mean, once you start changing yeah. and improving, it's just never-ending, yeah, never-ending, exactly. because mm -hmm. at the end. And actually, one of the last part of the dynamic, the six sigma process, is uh, mm -hmm. control phase. So this is the not the yeah, I would say very important. Uh, no, I don't know if it's the most, but it can be. Because uh, after you go through all your process, so the control, you need to make sure this this um, this uh, this activity effort really goes sustainable, and then you make sure you review it and uh, control it and make sure it's not it's not it's not uh, failing again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So hopefully, will this will open some some people's minds what it means operational excellence excellence sorry uh, because. Probably is not a, a field that it's open to the let's say students. You know, you say you did your degree and then your masters, and you discover it while doing that a master. Mm -hmm. Probably before you didn't know about it. So, 
how will you sell it to the young people? Let's say whoever is studying now hospitality or getting into the that kind, this kind of area and, and doesn't really know what kind of path to follow. How will you, let's say, convince someone to go into process excellence and, and uh, go into that, that kind of field or path? Uh, I would say that um, Coming already from a hospitality background, if you have uh, finished your bachelor or your master, mm -hmm. uh, really to be on this on this path, it it it's really it's really important because it gives you an overview of how the hotels work. So you're not only in one division; you 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 can see all the all all the areas because uh, excellence and um, um, for example uh, continuous improvement or, or problem solving approach. Mm -hmm. You can apply it to any any any, any department. So mm -hmm. if a, if a, if a department in marketing uh, have an issue you want to improve, so you apply the tools. It, it, of course, the 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 ones gonna give the input and all the all the ideas, and it's gonna be the the people working in the area there because they are the specialists. They mm -hmm. are the ones who know the hands-on experience, but you can give them uh, the direction. And, and the tools and monitoring. So, um, and I think it's very rewarding as well, um, mm -hmm. Rob, because you are you you are a supporting department uh, who works as well in the strategic um, strategic area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can probably once they implement the changes and the new processes, you can probably see how it's helping and helping them improve so that reward inside that like you're mentioning, right? You can see the impact you are creating on, on others. And I'm more generally speaking in terms of the hospitality. So you chose that path very early and then all your career has been hospitality. But if you have, if you, if someone like young and, and maybe is thinking of switching careers, going to hospitality or, or considering hospitality as an option, why would you recommend this, this field? Even if someone wants to move? Yeah, exactly. So, so no, from another industry to hospitality or Considering what to study, let's say someone who is 18, let's say, how would you, what would you say, tell that person? It, would it be a good idea to go into hospitality or not? Uh, I would say uh, maybe now is, <laughs> well, is you can say, let's think long, long term. By, by the time they, they finish studying, everything is going to be fine. So, everything will be fine. So, first, to, to have a passion because mm -hmm. I, I can say that the hospitality people are, are very passionate. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, able to work hard um, and you only work hard and you can only keep the 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 the, the, the energy if you mm -hmm. if you if you have a passion for what you do so a uh, self uh, the, this is natural uh, mm -hmm. if you try to serve um well, the yeah. service itself um, mm -hmm. And then if you want to travel as well, <laughs> have opportunity to travel, that's as well um, very, very good. And, and then if, uh, yeah, if you like to, to change, uh, constantly changing, constantly in, in, innovating. Mm -hmm. you, and as well, very important if you like to, to have a multicultural environment. Uh, for, a, for a hotelier, it's very important that um, you're accepting uh, other cultures, other, other mm -hmm. thinking, because uh, at the end of the day, hospitality is it's a, it's a multicultural industry. Mm -hmm. So an open mind, uh, open mind and that flexibility is... Uh, mm -hmm. is a Okay, take note of that and flexible. Okay, so taking notes, what you were saying from the beginning, uh, you were talking about the six, six, six Sigma, sorry, and uh, that was the, the opening uh, eyes for you in terms of uh, getting into operational analysis, uh, improving efficiency and, and lean sort of processes. Process improvement, we're talking about the excellence. Uh, your, I love your reply, you say it's a mindset and it's a culture that people or, or companies need to implement. Uh, and then it's, uh, you were talking about the customer focus and the customer centric approach that the hospitality industry should have, and uh, they need to improve their analysis and then it comes into um, process analysis to improve their efficiency. How rewarding it is, this sort of job, because you get the feedback from the people you're helping, uh, supporting them and seeing the implement, uh, implementation of the strategy work, and then talking about passion because that's what you need to be able to work hard and, and being open-minded 
innovative and used to or being able to get used to multicultural environments okay that's kind of the, the wrap up uh from the what you've been mentioning any last thoughts from your side any last comment you want to add um just that that hospitality uh, it's a it's a great industry uh, we are passing through a tough, tough times but i'm sure we're gonna get uh, out of this and we're gonna come back stronger and um, and now as a, a consultant if any of your audience as well uh, want us to have um, to have any support for for the team for their team and uh, help them to to better adapt on the new on the new way on the new way of working because i'm sure um, need to change many things in your operation to we pass through this, so we can they can well, things are changing very fast. It's true, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it will be a challenge to to get used to the to the new normal, as it's called now. Uh, yeah, it's morphisconsulting.com. There's a check-in online. That's a website mm -hmm. for your company, uh, which is. I mean, you're based in, in Austria, but they also have office in Madrid. You've told me before. We have uh, uh, yes, uh, headquarters in Madrid, and mm -hmm. we have we have as well um, a consultant in India and. Mm -hmm. And yes, we are actually a global company. Mm -hmm. As it says on the website, helping people transform organizations. Okay. Perfect. Good, good. Uh, I'll put the link anyway on the when I post the video. So, Christian, thank you very much for your time for giving us a bit of our information, a glimpse of what operational excellence means for hospitality. And uh, thanks. Thanks for all the info. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. It was a pleasure. That was all for now. Hope you found it useful. Remember that you have more information on our website www.torresconsulting.co.uk, on LinkedIn, on YouTube and Twitter. Stay well, goodbye for now. <laughs>